Hey everybody, this is George, and I just wanted to go over the month of May's press release. So, right here, multiple pages, there we go. Uh, basically, the press release is made up uh, from comments from all of our real estate industry leaders. Uh, the nice thing is that I've actually had the opportunity to make comment in here again, which is uh, an honor. Uh, basically, there are three things that, that are coming about. First one is, Prices are still going up, all right? Two, interest rates are going up. Three, buyer's buying power has gone down. So what that means is that we're hitting that flattening market that we have uh, had conversations with many of you about and uh, completely expected. We figured it was going to start about second quarter, what we call Q2 of 2018. We really expect the, you know, the market to say, mm, I'm going to say relatively flat, probably until Q1 of 2019. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to be seeing a you know, big nosedive in our in, of our market in our industry. What it means is we're going to see more of kind of a flattening type of market. And, you know, buyers are very well educated. And so they understand and have more information available to make best buying decisions. Now, again, part of the flattening is because we've seen a half a percent interest rate increase since January. That translates to a seller is that the buyer is not able to purchase as much as they did before. All right. Okay. So fine. So buyers are having to be a little bit pickier. They're not going to be quite as aggressive. All right. But they're still looking at and still will see multiple offers on well-priced uh, homes in those really good areas. All right. Now, the second thing that we take a look at uh, basically is the off-market homes. So we have had an increase of 25% over uh, March, uh, I guess April over March, right? Or, uh, and this sounds like a big number, 89% since last year. But it was a really small number, and so to get to 89% is really not that big of a deal. But it's the trend that we start to look at. And as we start to see market times increase, as we see prices start to be, well, less aggressive, that means that our market is starting to shift just a little bit. When we see the luxury market and the move up market actually start to be, as far as percentage of closing, lower than uh, the what we would consider our first time home buyer market, which now is at 43%, what we're going to start to see then is that market shift. Now, this is great news for buyers because buyers are going to have more inventory. Our listing uh, inventory, uh, MLS wide, actually went up. It's as high today as it was August of last year. Now, remember, at the end of December, we had a half a month of inventory. Now, well, we've got a little bit over a month of inventory. So we have doubled our inventory levels since January. Now, what that means is that you're going to have, as a buyer, a few more options. As a seller, you need to be a lot more price conscious, a lot more price sensitive, uh, because if if you sell your home within the first seven days, okay, you're going to get between 100, 107% of list price. You miss that mark. You go out to 20 days, right? That means that you're going to only get about, say, 98, 96% of list price. You miss that mark, and you go out to 40 days, right? That means you're going to look at 92, 93% of list price. So that, as a seller, you need to really keep in mind while you're considering pricing. Now, the nice thing is we've been getting uh, multiple requests from different sellers to update and give them updated uh, you know, home evaluations so that they can make the best business decision for their family. Uh, for the buyers out there, that's great news. We uh, Just last week, we closed, or we didn't close, but we put under contract three off-market sellers. The benefit to the seller gives them the opportunity then and more of a timeline to go out and find that next home. But more importantly, they, they go out and find that next home knowing that their home is already sold. And that is a huge benefit, right? And the, we're, all, you know, we're agreeing on terms at, at market value, which is fabulous. Benefits for a buyer, very simple. You don't have a massive influx of people that you need to compete with. Uh, we've only had two or three buyers at any one time that have been competing on a listing, uh, which benefits both the seller and the buyer uh, because we still come up with where market value is sometimes a little bit more than that. The biggest benefit is that the latitude for the sellers. So really benefits the sellers more than the buyers. 
uh, the, however, the buyers, uh, knowing this, you know, when they're looking at this home, uh, many times are just more than ecstatic. So with that, our market is still plugging along. Uh, anybody who would like a full copy, there we go, a full copy of this report, just let me know. We'll email it off to you. It's got some great uh, insights from the different industry leaders and some great uh, metrics for you guys to take a look at. And uh, if you want to talk about off-market homes, just give me a call. We'll talk about the pros and the cons. Other than that, hope you guys have a beautiful day and uh, enjoy the sunny, beautiful May 7th day. Take care. Bye-bye.